Hey everybody, I'm SK and welcome to this, our 14th episode of the Hunting Grounds vlog. Uh, now you might notice, we've got a different backdrop behind us. That's because we have taken it up out of the shop and we are in what uh, will eventually be our witch house. This is uh, our enclosed front porch. It, uh, it's a small nine by 10 foot room that uh, we use to store all of our Halloween stuff during the uh, last couple of months before Halloween. Um, that helps us kind of organize things and figure out what we have and uh, what uh, we're going to be doing. Helps us figure out what needs to be fixed and uh, gives us time to get it, get through it all before, uh, you know, before last minute we're sitting there looking at it going, holy shit, we got to fix this. So, um, we're going to be unloading everything up into this room today. Uh, first, a couple of things. First of all, uh, I've done some updating on the website. Long overdue. It's been like probably about um, almost a year since I've put anything on the website. Uh, so, I put all the vlogs up. Um, fixed the missing prop eyes tutorial. The prop eyes tutorial that goes along with the video. Um, for some reason wasn't showing up and along with that was the file that I reference in the video to get your uh, irises so that's all been fixed you can see that on the uh, on the website and you can get a hold of that uh, the prop eyes file also I had a lot of people asking about a spotlights tutorial um, everybody keeps saying hey you know I want to know how to make those and did you do a tutorial and I keep saying, no, I didn't. As it turns out, I actually started one. So um, it's about halfway done, and uh, I just forgot about it. So I'm going to try and get that finished up, and we'll get that posted so anybody who wants to know how to build those little uh, individual battery-operated LED spotlights can, can do that. Oh, a couple other things. Um, our 2009 Home Haunt video actually hit 50,000 views that is huge because if you go around and you look at other other uh, haunt videos there's not a lot of them that have that kind of uh, that kind of views we're averaging over 500 views a day on that video I don't know why for the life of me I can't figure it out but whatever and uh, we are almost to a hundred thousand video views as a whole. That's pretty cool. Well, at least I thought it was pretty cool until I went on some other clown's uh, YouTube channel. And he's got, you know, like 30,000 subscribers and like 25 million video views. So, oh well, maybe we'll probably never get there. But it's still pretty huge for me. You know, 100,000 video views, that's, uh, that's going to be cool. Um, now 15 new subscribers this month, and we're going to give Cody the opportunity to redeem himself after his miserable fail. Because he can't. His attempt to read off the, uh, the new subscribers. So, with this, uh, this half of the month's new subscribers, Take it away, Cody. Okay, so Haunted House 1408, it's a good movie. Just saying. Yes, 1408 was a good movie. Yes. Um, Jordan Delister, I believe that's what how the last thing is. My Horror 8, uh, Work 764, W Steel 601. Arhawk 79, Knights of Notion, Bobby Dara or Dara, I don't know, Tony, Sean2374, Stop Walking Slowly Behind Me, <laughs> <laughs> Karma Police 00, Jenny's, Jen's Haunts Smith. The Dark Side Haunt 360. Makes up for the circle. Haunter's Playground. Sinister Woods. 
and Carmification. I like the last one. There's your book back. So thanks everybody. 15 new subscribers. Thanks for subscribing. Um, we're getting ever closer to that 250 mark. And when we hit that 250 mark, we're going to be giving away uh, a CD. Knox Arcana CD. Because Knox Arcana is cool. Good music. If you haven't listened to them, look them up. Great Halloween music. Great haunt music. And I use it for the background of my videos. So if you like the music that you hear at the beginning, at the end of the videos, at uh, the beginning, the end, and any parts in the middle of uh, the vlog, that's Knox Arcana. And now we're going to get busy and start loading all of this Halloween crap up into our front porch. Woohoo! You can watch. Excellent. All right, well, that's everything. And uh, yeah, not much room left in this little tiny space that we have to work with. So we're gonna take this back down cellar into the shop and we'll take a look at uh, the progress that we've made on uh, our props so far. See you inside. All right, we're back down into a familiar setting, back down into the shop. Uh, have a few props that are on the table right now, a few things that uh, you may be familiar with uh, if you've been watching the more recent uh, vlogs, a few that you may not, uh, unless you've been watching like the really old vlogs, which aren't really old anyways, but if you haven't seen the earlier on vlogs, then uh, you might not be familiar with uh, some of the stuff. So. Real quick, we'll go over what we have on the table. For those of you who've been watching since the beginning, you might recognize our Death's Head Tombstone, which is still where it was several months ago. The uh, one side of the skull is finished, the other side is not. One, one wing to finish over there, and then both of these side, both of these sides need to be finished. So we're going to try and get some work done on that in the uh, next couple of days, and maybe we can get this thing finished up and painted and uh, 
done before the uh, Halloween season. We have our Skelosconce. Our Skelosconce was uh, broken last year when it was being taken down and slipped out of somebody's hands and hit the floor. Not me. And yeah, it didn't fare too well. So uh, it's in the process of being re-glued. The legs are uh, glued back in place. Uh, the arms still need some work. Yeah. Mostly this one. And he's missing a thumb. So I've got to find his thumb before I can finish this one up. Ah, uh, we have our imp. Our imp is coming along nicely. Uh, if you watched last week's vlog, he was just a wire frame. And now he's been almost completely covered in mache. Uh, still a little bit more work to do. I was considering doing the uh, final details with uh, latex and cotton. However, after loading up the Halloween stuff up to the uh, front storage, I found that our grave digger is starting to deteriorate. Um, one of the corpse skulls is starting to deteriorate so that latex uh, really doesn't last too long so I'm starting to think that I may try and do all of his details with the uh, paper mache uh, instead of latex and cotton. It'll take a little bit more time but I think in the end it'll be worth it so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I am however positive that our groundbreaker here is going to be corpsed with paper mache. I am not going to do the latex and cotton on the groundbreaker. So for all of you who love that stringy look that I get to uh, my groundbreakers, you will be able to see exactly how that's done. And Cody is working on one of the older props. So old, in fact, that this was started last Halloween. <laughs> it was supposed to be finished for last Halloween, but I Cody just put it up on the counter and forgot about it. So this is Cody's paper mache pumpkin, which will be a paper mache jack-o'-lantern. And... We'll probably sit atop a nice scarecrow once we get it finished. Hey, that's a nice shirt you got there, Cody. Oh, well, thank you. Found it in my dresser this morning. So, that's where we sit right now with the uh, current props. Uh, for those of you wondering, those eyes will not be part of the imp. Uh, they're just in there for my humor right now. Um, I have another set of eyes down here that uh, are in need yes strategically placed. They are in need of uh, some new irises. I'm going to design some new irises something a little bit more demon-esque and uh, then we're going to replace those eyeballs. But until then, I just wanted to put something in there to give his face some perspective while I'm working on the details. So, that is where we are with the props so far. For those of you who were eagerly anticipating the... Eagerly. Uh, you said it wrong. E uh, eagerly. Eagerly anticipating this week's episode, this week's segment of What's in the Box. If you weren't watching the beginning of the vlog, all the boxes went upstairs. So, uh, no boxes down here. Um, this is officially the end of What's in the Box. No more. I'm going to, uh, probably going to cover a few, uh, you know, if I come across anything in the, um, in the boxes as I'm unpacking them. As we're setting up the witch house, I'll, uh, I'll vlog. But if it's just the same old crap, well, it's just the same old crap. And who wants to see the same old crap? 
Um, like I said, if I come across anything interesting, we'll vlog it. And uh, for the most part, the next couple of uh, episodes, we're going to just vlog our progress as we get started on uh, the build and um, some last minute repairs and last minute prop ideas that we come, come up with for, uh, for the display this year. And then we'll see what happens from there. So until next, I'm SK. And I'm thanks. Gluey Fingers. And he's yeah, he's gluey fingers. Uh, thanks for watching.